Mike Tyson apparently got into a scuffle with another passenger who was harassing him on a JetBlue flight. Hey everyone, I regularly post detailed travel guides and tips on my Instagram page, so be sure to follow me there as well. Hi guys, so today I'm bringing you a quick story about a horrific incident that just happened on JetBlue yesterday. It appears that the media is presenting somewhat of a one-sided response to this incident. I just wanted to present a little bit more context about what actually happened. So according to TMZ News, Mike Tyson apparently got into a scuffle with another passenger who was harassing him on a JetBlue flight. The JetBlue flight left San Francisco International Airport at around 10.30 p.m. on Wednesday night, and it was headed to Florida. According to CBS Sports News, the passenger took a selfie initially with Mike Tyson. Other passengers also report that this passenger was intoxicated at this point. After the selfie, Mike Tyson turned around and was minding his business, but apparently this passenger became very unruly and would not leave Mike Tyson alone. Footage given to TMZ News, the passenger can be seen heckling and making gestures at Mike Tyson. He's also directly seated right behind him, so there is no opportunity for Mike Tyson to get away from this individual at this point. Mike Tyson did ask the passenger to leave him alone several times, but the passenger refused to do so, and it appears that the JetBlue staff did not intervene, so eventually Tyson got very infuriated and began to have a physical altercation with the man. There is no information as to whether the flight was in midair, if it made it all the way to Florida, or if they were still in San Francisco at this point. So uh, it is reported that Tyson did walk off the plane after the fight, and the passenger who heckled him did get medical attention and went to the police in order to report the incident. I wanted to report on the story because this is not that uncommon. We have seen a lot of passengers becoming infuriated and getting into altercations with other passengers. So I wanted to know, what would you do in this situation? If someone was refusing to leave you alone and was continually heckling you during a flight, how would you handle the situation? Personally, I believe the best response is always to walk away, especially if you're dealing with someone that's intoxicated. Clearly, they're not in the right state of mind to be able to think logically. And yes, that can be extremely difficult to do on an airplane. If you're at a point in the flight where you cannot actually leave your seat, you can always use the help button to call for a flight attendant to assist you. And since this story is a cautionary tale on what not to do when somebody is heckling or harassing you on an airplane, I decided to look up some tips on proper airplane etiquette. So here's some helpful guidelines that you can use to have the smoothest flight possible. Number one, check the rules before you actually fly. As we all know, rules and mandates are constantly changing and have been changing for the past two years or so. So you're going to want to research those beforehand. If you're unfamiliar with TSA regulations, you can definitely look those up online beforehand to find out what you should or shouldn't bring. When you actually make it to the terminal and are boarding your flight, be pleasant to the flight attendants. They are the ones that are going to help your flight to go smoothly. So it's always nice to greet them and give them a friendly smile. Number three, try to use the smallest carry-on possible and don't hog the overhead bins. Make sure that you're putting your carry-on bag directly above your seat and not someone else's seat. Number four, exercise emotional intelligence. Be friendly and cordial to the people who are seated next to you. Read the room and figure out if they feel like holding a conversation or if they just wanna relax and go to sleep. If they happen to want to hold a conversation while you want to sleep, you can just be polite and let them know that you're looking to just simply relax and enjoy the flight. If you're in the economy class, try not to hog the armrests. Number seven, be cognizant of if your chair is bothering someone if you recline it too far. It's polite to put the seat in the upright position if meals are being served. And you can always compromise if your reclined chair is making the person behind you uncomfortable. Number eight, if you're traveling with children, make sure that the children are not bothering other passengers. This is a big one with me. I actually was flying from Washington DC to London 
and I had a small child kicking my seat the entire time and it made for a very uncomfortable flight for me. The parent was not responsive to what the child was doing at all. I didn't feel like getting into any kind of scuffle, so I didn't say anything, but it was an eight hour flight, and it was probably the worst flight that I've ever had in my life. So the polite thing to do if you are traveling with kids is to ensure that your child has a seat of their own and that they are not kicking or punching the chair that's in front of them. Number nine obviously applies in this case, watch your alcohol intake. If you know that you are a person that doesn't necessarily handle alcohol well, perhaps it's best to refrain from drinking while on the flight. Airline staff is also prohibited from allowing intoxicated passengers to board the plane as well. This is for their safety and the safety of all the passengers. And last but not least, refrain from making a conflict worse. If you have an unruly passenger, such as in this case, the first thing that you need to do is notify an actual flight attendant. Make sure that you follow the directions of the airline staff. They're always going to know what's best. So this was a great cautionary tale on what not to do if you're dealing with a similar situation on an airline. I hope that you guys learned something from it. I would love to hear your comments. Please leave them down below in the comment section so that we can get a dialogue started. On that note, I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you next time. Please be sure to check out these additional videos. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. See you next time.